these are the shaping tools. You'll find the toolbar if you go to window down to toolbars and it is the shaping it needs to have a check mark next to it and it looks like this toolbar right here you can put it wherever you want to but I'm going to grab the first two objects and you can see that they are whole if I hide the true view stitches you can see that there's stitches underneath there so I'm going to grab the first two and I'm going to use the weld notice You've got the blue and the red objects. If you weld, you'll have one red object. It does take on the properties, color, and stitch type of the topmost object. So in this one, it will be all pink. The next one is called Intersect. So if I grab these, you'll notice that all you see is the red where they intersect. So you'll just see the red little piece of pie right here. And then in this one, you'll only see where they all three intersect, which is this little teeny weeny piece right here that's in pink. The next one is called exclude. So anywhere they overlap, it takes out and notice it retains the properties of each object so you do still have two objects. This one anywhere they overlap is taken out. The next one is called front minus back so anything that's in the front will stay anything that overlaps or in the back will go away. The next is the opposite of that one. It is front, uh, back minus front. So anything in the back minus any overlaps will be gone. So you'll just see the blue in this one as well. Next we have flatten. So if I go in here and take the true view off, like I said before, it actually has stitches. The blue stitches are underneath the red. If I select these two objects and with an overlap, and that's where you put this right here, and I'm going to usually do a 0.8 millimeter overlap. I'm going to hit the flatten. And what that does is it takes out all the stitches underneath that and leaves that nice overlap so you don't have to worry about the pull compensation. And it will do it on all of them. So if I zoom in on this one, you can see that I've got overlaps everywhere. Let me choose all of them and hit the flatten again with the overlap. And now it's taken out, but it's left the overlap for me so I don't have to worry. The next one's divide, and I'll go to that in just a second. Um, last but not least is um, combine. So if I grab these two and hit combine, it takes on the properties of the top object. But if I were to take this and move it and make it a smaller hole, and let's say I want to cut that hole out, I can just grab the two objects and hit combine, and it cuts the hole out. It takes on the properties of that top one, though. Okay. So, and then you'll see in this one, the combine, and it's all, they're separate objects, but it all takes the properties of the top one. Now, I'm going to show you what divide is in this one. I'm going to hit divide with an overlap, and what it's done, everywhere they overlapped, it has cut. Out the objects. Now I'm going to show you the divide down here at the bottom. It's much easier to use this way. I have a rectangle of solid fill and then I have several running stitches on top of it. Okay, so I'm going to grab everything, all the running stitches and all of the 
the fill. And I'm going to make sure I've got an overlap and hit the divide. And when I do this, everywhere that running stitch was, it acts like a pizza cutter and it divides this. So now I have a very easy way to make a racetrack, a flag. And they all have overlaps. So you don't have to worry about how it's sewing or anything. You will need to delete the run stitches afterwards because they are stitches and they will sew. So you just need to delete those as well. 